Hey guys, welcome to a new video about Russian Fishing 4 and today I will show you guys uh, the settings in English. Uh, if you guys have not noticed yet, we are currently working on the English translation of Russian Fishing 4 and I know that the settings is something that I've got a lot of questions about. So um, without further ado, let's get started. So here we have the settings. We've got general audio, video and control. And this is what we will go over in, uh, in this uh, small video. Uh, on top you can see English and if you want to skip the tutorial or not mind by the way guys these are raw translations i'm still tweaking them so um and these are images this is not yet in game we are aiming to release the uh english translation and the german translation somewhere mid-september so uh keep an eye out for that but for those of you who are so brave to already try and play the game in russian um, this will help you out with uh, settings. So we got uh, first up on the left side language. Like I said, you can put it in English once English uh, translation is released. Uh, underneath it, past trading, it says that actually means skip tutorial, and you can put it on yes or no. Then we move on to witches, and witches is actually what you see in the hut. So you have the tip. Uh, you've got time and weather. Corf indicator, the compass, your player level, and your player parameters. And so the player parameters, those will be, um, say for instance, uh, who do I say now? Yeah, uh, so, so your uh, energy, your food, uh, your luck, and your comfort. Those are the player parameters. And you can turn them on or you can turn them off, if you like. Then moving on to the right side, we've got chat notifications. And uh, currently, as you can see, everything is put on show so you've got location records absolute records uh, what you've caught your trophy caught uh, how much fish how many fish you lost because they got off the hook the ground bait the breakages the snacks level up food and crafting so those will uh, show up in uh, in your chat notification uh, in the chat box whenever you're doing it or whenever someone else is doing it let's move on to audio so here we go there we go uh, and obviously underneath you guys will see the keys to uh, OK, cancel, apply and reset. So OK means that you uh, agree with the cha changes that you made or just um, cancel means is that you do not want to uh, put the changes into play that you put into it. Apply means that you do agree with the changes and reset will put everything back to default. So volume we got four bars. The top one is general sound. The one underneath that is the music. Then we have the background sound and we've got effects. So you can uh, tweak those with your likings. And now we're moving on to video and I know you guys are dying to know about this. So here we are. Video. Video settings. Uh, on the left side, top left display, uh, first the mode, do you want to have it window, do you want to have it it's full screen, uh, full screen window, can, uh, can as well, then underneath it resolution, right underneath that, field of view, then you get exposition, and then you get contrast, and for those of you that have trouble watching uh, and playing the game in the dark, if you tweak the contrast, put it all the way to the left, contrast will actually be really, really low, and you actually see better, so that will help you. Then post effects, we've got bloomer anti-aliasing, uh, graphics, uh, V-Sync starts first, then graphics quality, it goes from all the way to the left, that one will be super fast, but it will mean uh, the quality is bad. To all the way to the right, which will be uh, custom setting, and the one before all the way to the right, that one will actually be perfect for you. That means uh, high graphics, high quality, uh, all that kind of thing. And then obviously you can also put things on and off, or put it on fast, or put it on perfect uh, condition. Uh, so we've got starlit sky, you've got fog, the wind effect, grass, water, reflections, shadows, textures, and then range of rendering. Um, if you notice that your game is going really slow for you, try to turn off uh, stuff like wind effects, fog, starlit sky, uh, grass, turn off shadow. Shadows as always with, with every game that will definitely uh, um, slow down your, uh, your computer and twiddle uh, 
uh, tweak a bit the textures, put them on fast. So all the way to the left is fast. If you put it all the way to the right and you click on it, on uh, those um, uh, pointers, on those indicators, if you put it all the way to the right, it will be high, very high quality or perfect quality actually. So um, tweak a bit around with this and uh, that will help you uh, in having a better gameplay. Now let's move on to the last, the hotkeys. You can set these two uh, if you like. So to the left we have the hotkey setting. Uh, the first one, uh, let's see, quick help, then you got screenshot. Uh, the ones that are grey out, you cannot change those. So uh, up, down, left, right, uh, uh, WASD, those are fixed. Same with use, usage, it's set to E. You cannot change those. The rest you can change all. So uh, acceleration, your main action, your alternative action. So if you want to um, get rid of a snack, trying to unhook it, right mouse button. Um, flashlight, currently here, this, these are actually gene settings. He, uh, he redid them, but standard is F. Uh, squinting or zooming in is Z. Uh, take and remove landing net. For us, it's spacebar. Default is spacebar. Uh, cut the line is X, real speed is R, open and close the reel, open and close the build, that is uh, enter. Uh, float down, moving your float down and moving your float up, plus and minus. Then moving on to the right side, put stuff into backpack is using backspace. Uh, put stuff, put your rods on a rod pod or on the ground is zero, chat, press Q. Quick item selection, you do that with U, that will actually give you uh, the menu. Let me quickly show uh, you guys. U is actually this. Uh, you can do quick item selection and put it in slots. Okay. Um, need to get my mouse back. Put this one back on. There we go. Uh, quick bait selection is press and hold B. Food selection press and hold T. Uh, details when you have a rod in hand and you want to see the details on it press V. But it only works when you have the item in hand. Uh, not when you're looking, just at the item. Uh, skills press O, inventory press I. And uh, here it says Corf, press C. Um, that is actually not Corf, that is actually your keep net. Uh, we need to tweak that a bit. So uh, to look at what you've got so far and what you have in your net, press C. Crafting is N and a map is M. We do not currently have a water body selection. Uh, you can set it, I think. Not entirely sure. And then we also have mouse settings. So if you want to invert it, X, Y axis and sensitivity, you can use um, that underneath uh, to make it more sensitive, put it to the right. To make it less sensitive, put it to the left. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, this was a movie about the controls, about the settings. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I hope to see you again in another video of Russian Fishing 4. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with all the news of Russian Fishing 4, um, they got a, a, they got a Facebook account, uh, Russian uh, Art of 4 game. Uh, and just look it up on, on Facebook. There's also a Twitter account, that one is also at RF4Game, uh, and, and there you go. Okay guys, thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time again. Bye bye for now!